just a little check in today. I didn't get good sleep last night. And the reason for that is I had to go and relay a message to someone and it was a hard message. I could heavily empathize with this person because the Holy Spirit had shown me that this person was giving into a situation and praying about the situation and just completely 100% sold out on making a situation work. But it wasn't working because it wasn't in God's will for them. And it was actually incredibly harmful. That's why it wasn't working for them. And God was doing it from a position of being a loving father who would not want harm for his child. So that's why he wasn't allowing them to have what they were striving after. And, but obviously God being God, he had a better solution for them. But that still involved the painful process. Of course, when I start this, that's when all the like motorbikes and stuff start rearing the engines. But anyway, but obviously in that process, it means having to let go of something that you have so heavily invested yourself in. And for me to relay that message, I walked away from it and I was like, whoa that was nuts because like the Holy Spirit started revealing all these things to me and I only tell people as much as they're able to receive in that moment because ultimately I do have the ability to read people like a book but it's about having the wisdom of choosing what to share that you see. And this person was very intensely impacted by the message that um, the Holy Spirit wanted them to hear. And I was trying to relay the message to them without them absolutely crumbling and breaking down and I could just see the despair in their eyes and I could just see the pain in their eyes as I was telling them the message and the answer that they didn't really want to hear but they knew that but they just didn't want to admit it to themselves um, which all of us have been in that situation where your mind knows that something is not good for you, but you're so heavily invested and you're just praying and you're hoping and you're wanting God to turn it around for you. Um, but God is saying, I don't want to hurt you. I can't do this for you. And so last night I just couldn't sleep because I was like, I was like, wow, to be involved in that situation, just, you know, no one wants to be the bearer of bad news. No one wants to see someone's world crumble before them. No one wants to look into someone's eyes and as they're ushering the words that the Holy Spirit is telling them to watching that person blink back tears and yeah for me I'm very empathetic that when I see pain and that when I see situations I feel it intensely as though it's my own and so yeah I just couldn't sleep I haven't been able to sleep this is all part of the learning process 
it's like when I shared this message with this person there was a part of me that was like no you gotta console them you gotta make it all right you gotta fix it but the Holy Spirit said no share this message and walk away and so I did and I was just like oh that was really hard that was really really hard but it comes with the territory really because at one point I thought that they were going to react so severely that they were going to take out their pain and their anger on me so that's what I was like oh but no it was just them going through the motions of the pain and anger um at the revelation of their situation but yes a great update from um uh, my search for faith and my um, endeavor to grow my faith i have the faith that is required now um and the holy spirit has just revealed to me that now it is about patience because it's easy to have the faith in bouts and doses but now with patience you need to maintain that faith regardless over an extended period and over an extended period of time um and so yeah i'm, I'm thinking how much patience are we talking lord either way it is working out because financially i look at things in my own logic and in my own strength i should not be standing here now but god keeps working things out also randomly i have this old neighbor from my previous apartment no matter where I go, <laughs> he just keeps showing up. He's not stalking me. <laughs> it's just that we keep crossing paths. And today I crossed paths with him again. But it was quite odd because the Holy Spirit told me that I'll see him today. And of course, I saw him. Um, and I'm like why does this guy just keep showing up and why Lord do you keep ha telling me about him it's, it's very unnatural like I don't even see my own mother at this rate as much as I see this guy just randomly around all the time it would be great if we actually got along. <laughs> like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I had a nickname for him, which was Crazy Neighbor. Um, Cause I, I did think that he was nuts. Um, like, I would catch myself staring at his teeth when he was talking sometimes because I was trying to see if there was any like signs of drug damage or like drug abuse um, because I was just like this guy is just like so out there but and I'm like that's really rich coming from me who's a prophet <laughs> and here I am <laughs> so I'm like I'm like why lord why is he always just there like why does he keep showing up and so today um as we crossed each other's paths again i was like i was like oh okay like act like i don't see him and he like he was like staring me down like i know you see me like <laughs> and i was like don't be walking <laughs> but who knows who knows there may be a development as to why he keeps showing up but as of now I don't know why. Bye.